go through the portal and take a look first. I don't know. Whoa! <laughs> that is the frozen bride. The remains of a woman trapped 2,000 years ago sits atop a frozen throne. Uh, is that really a throne? <laughs> so... What are these things there? There are four different... Stones. Whoa! What is this? Those are spirits. Trap in this world. All life variants of form, mass, and hue soon wither to me neath the great and the flu. Silhouettes of souls trapped between worlds vie for my attention. They want me to rescue them, guys, to release them from this hellish world. This frozen world. Okay, what is going on here? The symbols. Uh. Wait, these symbols are the ones on that clue sheet. Yeah, these are the ones. Where is it? I need to translate them, guys. Oh no, I don't. I need a... a word. Do they all have the symbols on them? Yeah. I am what's left when all water dries from the sweat on your brow to the tears in your eyes. Wait, these are riddles, guys. There are four different riddles? A grain of hope and the reaper's toil. My body sends life through the rock and soil. Oh no, I'm not good with riddles. <laughs> this is bad. I gather the dust and make arrows fly true before jotting it down in the letter to you. Gather the dust and make arrows fly true. Wind? W I N D. Gather the dust and make arrows fly. Wind? Or oh, air? I don't know. <laughs> well, there are four letters here. Wind? W I N D. Shall we try this out? I don't know. So that. A Wait, I did a take a po- uh, hold on. Wait, I did take a picture earlier, hold on. Let me go back to the photo now. Uh, okay, where is it? Okay, got it. I got a picture. The other ones all consist of five letters, and they are all movable. Yeah, this one is special. The f oh, this one is four. So this is not a four-letter word, it's seven-letter word. So three of the letters are set in place already. So what are these three letters? Let me take a look here. Hold on. There's a dot in the middle. There's a E. So blank, E, blank, blank. An H, H. Blank. Two arrows, two triangles. There's an R. So E H R. Gather the dust and make arrows fly. E H R. I need to write this down. E H R. It's not win. <laughs> uh. E Weather. Wind is part of weather too. <laughs> the weather gathers the dust and then make arrows fly through. Yeah. Wind is part of weather. <laughs> Do we have a W? Okay, hold on. What does it look like? W. Okay, W. Is there a W here? No. Oh, uh, no, it's not a W. Wait, there's no W. There's no W symbol. It's not weather. Not it. Okay, shall, shall we go over all the choices? Uh, how, how many choices do we have? Like six or seven? I don't know. What is this? A B. B E H R. 
BAG. Okay, that doesn't look right. BG, no. AG, no. A dot in the middle, F. F, E. Feather! Feather gather the dot. It's a broomstick. And then make arrows fly through before Jolly. There is feather <laughs> at the back of the arrow. <laughs> it is feather. Okay, I'm sure. Okay, oops, I changed it. Alright, 100% correct. Feather. F E A. There's gotta be an A here. It's like a E. E shape. There's an A. F E A T. T looks like a triangle. There's a T. A Y, the dot in the middle. Feather! And and guess what? We do have a feather in the inventory. Am I supposed to use it here? Ah. Maybe all the answers to the riddles are going to be items in my inventory. Yeah, guys. The Scarlet. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Crazy, crazy. Okay, so I guess we have to go to the next one. A grain of hope and the reaper's toil. My body sends life through crack, uh, through the rock and soil. A grain of hope. Body sends life through the rock and soil. Uh, you can only do that when you are dead, when you are buried underground. <laughs> death, D A T H. <laughs> do we have death in the inventory, guys? No, we have ash, but uh, that's only a three-letter word. <laughs> uh, can I do that? Maybe if we do that, we put ash onto the. Pedestal. <laughs> Is there a D? Uh, D looks like a person. Let's try. Oh, there is a D. And then the dot, the E, dot in the middle. There is a E. I think I'm right. <laughs> e shape. Yeah, I think it's death. Triangle. Yes. An H. Wait. There's no H. You've got to be kidding me. There's no H. <laughs> He's not deaf. Hmm. A grain of hope. And the Reaper's toy, a ring of hope. Okay, let's look at the items here. Ring of hope. Seeds? A ring of hope and the Reaper's toil. My body sends life through the rock and soil. Plants. Seeds. Is there a seed? An S? Seeds. S? That's an S. Uh, two E's in a row. Double E. We got it. Oh, I missed the D. Seeds, guys. <laughs> Is this cheating if I look at the items first in my inventory? Without solving the riddles? <laughs> this feels like cheating, guys. Yeah! And here we go again! <laughs> I am what's left when all water dries From the sweat on your brow To the tears in your eyes What's left when all water dries? Uh... Salt! 
<laughs> when sweat dries, there is a sword left. And we do have sea sword. Alright, this is 100% correct. Nice. Definitely. Yeah, I kind of figure it out without looking at the items. <laughs> oh, oh, we missed the S. That's the S. Miss it again. <laughs> Okay, that one. S A. S L. Uh, no. Yeah, we got the L T. The triangle T. Yes, I'm doing pretty well. Bottle of sea salt. All right, we got a new entry, guys. Also, there was a previous entry we haven't read yet. Hold on. Uh, it took every last bit of courage I could muster, but I closed my eyes tightly and stepped forth through the portal. I now find myself within a tiny ice chamber, bordered by five small altars adorned with strange glyphs. There are five of them? I thought there were only four. In the center of the room rests the remains of a young woman sacrificed over 2,000 years ago to save the world and form the basis of the legend of Die Grove. Her icy anguish now begins its flood across the face of the earth. And every moment brings my world closer to doom. I need to figure out a way to decipher the writing on the altars before it's too late. A series of riddles found on the other side of the portal were illegible until I found Ellison's translation. And now that I can read the symbols, I'm starting to wrap my head around what's going on here. An ancient Celt must have hollowed out this space and constructed the magic altars as some kind of failsafe against the breaching of the boundary between worlds. An object relating to the Earth's four basic elements, in, the, in addition to a magical property known as the Silver Soul, seemed to be pulling an ice lady spirit back into the frozen void. If I can solve all the riddles, I might be able to imprison her once again, and save the entire planet in the process. So... Elsa mentioned a fifth element that would trump the other four. She called it a silver soul. So there are only four of them here, guys. Oh, there's a fifth one on this side. Ah, the fifth element. So which one is the fifth one? Okay, this is a seven letter word. Messenger, god of trade and exchange. My size relies on the brightest star's range. Messenger God of Trade and Exchange. My size relies on the brightest star's range, the sun. The brightest star, that's a star, uh, the sun. Relies on the brightest star's range. My, a planet. My size relies on the brightest star's range. Is it a planet? What, what are those two letters at? What is this? This is a... Uh, can't find the letter. Is this C? Uh, okay, it's not a planet. <laughs> no. Mm, so that's a C and this is a what? That's a R. C-R. Can I figure that out? R? There's an item like that. C and R. Uh... C R? What the heck is this? Blank, 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 C, blank, R, blank. CR, what is this, guys? Messenger God of Trade and Exchange. The Messenger God of Trade. I don't know what that is. <laughs> My size relies on the sun's range. My shadow. Is it shadow? No shadow is only a six letter word. 
shadow fits with the second line. <laughs> Your own shadow. But not the first line. I don't have that item in there. <laughs> Alright, let me look at another one first. This one. All life variants of form, mass, and hue soon wither to me beneath the grate and the, and, in the, and the flu. Soon wither to me. Uh, flames? Fire. <laughs> All life variants of form, mass, and hue. Soon wither to me beneath the grates. Uh, ashes, flames, fire. Can we have ashes? I don't know. That sounds like fire, and that's an A. <laughs> Is it really ashes? As. It is possible. A plural ash. Ashes. Oh, there is an H. Do we have a Y? We have a Y. Wow. That, okay, it is ashes, guys. Oh, this makes sense now. So, there is a reason to go to the fireplace to light the fire and then put out the fire again to get the ashes. There is a reason to do that now. That makes perfect sense. Okay, so... Uh -huh. The one in the middle? Oh, we did that one. Uh, wait, we did four of them already? Hold on. One, two, three. <laughs> that is a bit surreal. So I'm only missing this one here. The fifth one. It's not a hammer. <laughs> it's not snowshoes, I don't think so. What is this uh, glass vial thingy? What is this? Messenger of God? Messenger God of Trade and Exchange? I don't know. <laughs> Can I Google this? <laughs> Messenger got of training exchange. Uh, is it cheating if I Google this? <laughs> okay, let me type this on the Google. <laughs> Messenger <laughs> God of Trade. Okay. All right. What is it, guys? Mercury. Mercury is the messenger god of trade, is a Roman god of trade, merchants and travel, god of financial gain, commerce and eloquence. I didn't know that, guys. Is it really? <laughs> Mercury? Where do I get Mercury? I don't have Mercury. Where do I get Mercury? Mercury. Okay, uh, let me put that word down here first. An M. Uh, let it go back to the picture. Hold on. Okay. M. It's like a E. This is Roman mythology, guys. I took one semester of Greek mythology back in college. I guess they are not the same. <laughs> M. E. R C U Oh, I missed the U R Y Right? Wait, I did something wrong. Uh, uh, the M is wrong. Hold on. Okay, Mercury. It is the bottle? It's a glass bottle. I have an empty bottle here. Read. Yeah. Where do I get Mercury? Mercury? 
Usually, in real life, Mercury is in uh, thermometers. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> that surprised me. Thermometer? Uh, wait, I've seen a thermometer somewhere in this game. I forgot the place. Thermometer. I've seen one somewhere. Early on in the game. Hold on. It's like right near uh, the beginning. There was a thermometer. So is it inside the hotel? Thermometer. Thermometer. That's the thermometer. Okay. Yes. Yeah. How do I uh, use a hammer? Break the glass tube, and then we go leaking mercury. <laughs> Okay, we got it, guys. Yeah, so that's the fifth element. That's the magical element. This element can save humankind. The fifth element! I really, really love that movie, you know? That sci-fi movie. I loved it. Okay, now what? Oh! Is that the end of you? We sealed her back into. With the, the artifacts frozen. of Dire Grove now safely locked away, we may begin to reassess our understanding not only of the ancient Celtic people, but of all civilizations. Might it now be wise to look upon the tales of earlier ages with a renewed curiosity? Dr. Sterling, much has been discussed of your experience, yet you only briefly describe the individual responsible for saving you and your friends. Can you reveal the identity <laughs> of this good Samaritan? I'm raising my hand. That person is asked to remain nameless. No, but I'm here. But I can give you their business card. <laughs> Master Detective Pazu. I mean the audience, guys. I'm raising my hand. <laughs> and they failed to notice it, though. <laughs> wow, we did it, guys. We solved all the puzzles without skipping. Yeah, the puzzles are not the hard part in this game. The tough part is... Uh, a bit of randomness. Yeah, it is very open-ended. I mean, um, it is not linear. Usually casual adventure games nowadays are very linear. You do one thing and then that leads to a second thing. And then on and on, all the way to the end of the game. But this one is a little bit different. You can do stuff out of order. Most of the time. So that is very interesting, guys. But anyway, I'm glad everybody is alive. <laughs> we save them all. We save them all from uh, hibernation. <laughs> they were frozen before, but uh, yeah, they are back to civilization now. So that is a happy ending. Yeah, I do like this game. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the next few mystery case file games. I'm going to play um, Shadow something next week. What is it? Is this Shadow Town? Something about Shadow. I forgot the next one. Yeah. Still have a few Mystery Case Files game to go before we hit Dire Grove, Sacred Grove. That is my first MCF game on the channel. So, yeah, we got the next game. We got uh, 13 Skull. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that one. I heard a lot of praise for that game, so that is also coming up. But anyway, this game is uh, quite exciting. It is very enjoyable, and I'm glad I got a chance to play it. Thanks to Dawn! <laughs> I want to say thank you to Dawn again for uh, gifting me this game on Big Fish. So thank you, Dawn. I also want to say thank you to my sponsors of the channel that includes Moderator Ray, 
Chris Bowman, Mo Nemo, Case Rotha, CC, and Sassy Muffin. So thank you, everybody. So I'll see you all uh, next week when we play another game on stream or on premiere. So have a good night, everyone. How's it here? Signing out. Goodbye.